Can I stun him? Oh my god, I can. My shield bash is powerful as hell. Uh-oh. Jeez! Fuck! Oh my god. There we go, he's after Francine. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, fuck. Get him, Francine! Look, another dead orc here. I can use this. Let's see... Reanimate corpse. Awesome. Okay. Oh, look, going back after Mercurio. That's fine by me. Boom! Here we are. Gotta shoot some of that shit off. Oh my god, there goes Mercurio! <laughs>When we had last left the prisoner bound by prophecy, they were inside of the old ruined fort of Falador's Faladar Faldar's Tooth. It was a wild ass place, filled with lots of freaky dog meat and fighting pits and bandits, oh my. After carving their way through the its denizens, they finally made their way out to the orcish tribe stronghold of Largashbur. That's the place where they met with another giant who was attacking, and finally they turned in the cooled Daedric Heart and Troll Fat that was required for the cool ass, the equally cool-ass ritual for Malakath. There, it was that Atub, the wise woman of the tribe, or whoever she was, some sort of wizard cloaked figure, had begun the ritual and spoke out to Malakath. And what did Malakath say? The Malakath, Malakath spoke out and looked over at Yamars, y Yarmaz, the war chief of, or chieftain of the tribe, something like that, looked over at him and said, you're a dickhead. And he got mad. He said, you're such a dickhead. You got to go to this cave and fight a big giant and bring me back his club. And so he ran over there, but he was like, oh shit. <laughs> and he was like, yo, I'm not good at this shit. And he said, you better come help me, prisoner. And so the prisoner said, shit, I guess I better do that. And so the prisoner was prepared to head out there. But just before doing that, a strange shirtless man had wandered into the camp and started shooting fire and lightning all over the place. God, he was not wearing a shirt at all. And he was very strange and angry. But, oh, thanks to a little bit of shield bashing, the prisoner did quickly dispatch of him. And now it was time to travel out to the east, nearby Riften Town, yes, to Fell Glow Cave, Fell Do Cave, some sort of cave, where they would fight a giant alongside of Yarm Yarmers. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back, baby. Holy shit. Did you see Atub right there? Was she Please just doing a weird look? Yamars. Do Yamars. You can. Our there tribe it is. depends on you. Yeah, you know, I was intending to actually go and hit up some of these other quests, but then I realized, holy shit, we are chock full of garbage after clearing out all of Faldar's tooth and shit. We do actually need to hit up Riften and sell off stuff, probably take a snooze, because look, we're a little bit tired now. So you know what? We're going to uh, alter around some of our goals and head over here back to Riften, I think. I think that's the ideal thing to do. Look, we've got these buffs that just appeared over here in the top right. I don't know what the hell that's about, but, you know, maybe it's good. Is this a good thing? Let's see. Check our magic. I'm fatigued. Dwindling Frost Beef Stew? I guess that's it. Still active, right? Yeah, we've still got two minutes of it. Good. Okay. Let's head over here. Yeah, because we couldn't even pick up the dragon's juice. Right? Get him, Mercurio. Get him. Get him, Mercurio. Come on, Mercurio. Destroy this goat! Yes! Goat destroyer! Oh, yes, very good, very good. <laughs> good job, Mercurio. We make one hell of a team. That's me clapping. <laughs> Giving a high five to Mercurio. <laughs> That's called role-playing. It's immersion. <laughs> Alright, let's head on over here. <laughs> good lord, look at all these fucking places out here just as well. There are so many locales out on just this road. Maybe at one point we need to investigate this shit. Good god. We were just on like a simple little mission here, but look, we've been swept away by the world. We had simple goals in mind, and then the world said, no. 
I'm going to throw a giant bear at you. <laughs> Holy fuck. Alright. Let's get this Francine out here. Good. Oh god. Okay, good place to quick save. We are safe. Poof! Safe from the bear. Uh-oh. Oh jeez. Oh, ah! oh my gosh. Hey, we can actually kind of take hits from the bear. It's going alright. Okay. Hopefully Francine and Mercurio can unload on it. A bit. Maybe I can come around to its butt. There we go. Good. Okay. I don't think I can even carry off its... Oh, I can. I can. I do have enough room. Okay. We're probably over the halfway point for this bear pelt shit, right? Good God, man. All right. Let's head on over here. <laughs> we'll do a quick save just as well, just in case some terrible fate befalls us. You never know. These dragons, they... <laughs> over half of the dragons have showed up very suddenly. I think only a few of them had, like, teases ahead of time where it's like, Oh gosh, do you hear that? Up in the wilds and the mountains, what could it be but a vicious dragon about to descend upon me? Oh no! Shield your eyes! Shield yourself! Get ready for quite the bout! No, many of them have just- <laughs> Why am I talking like this? Many of them- It's like I'm doing another intro. Many of them had just descended upon us with instant vicious vigor, and we had to dispatch them verily. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Let's get on out over here. Good God. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, yes, thank goodness. I was worried I would have to loop around again. But, whew, we can just enter here through the door, all out of breath, everything. It's fine. It's all good. I'll take some flowers as well. There's so many flowers just everywhere. The density is just off the charts. Good God. Could you imagine in Elder Scrolls if they got rid of the flowers? Holy shit, of just like random garbage that you could pick. I mean, I know like it frequently unbalances the game because people love picking flowers and making potions and selling them. But hey, just at least debuff the potions or something because people, people love picking these flowers. It's got to be said. What a feature. I mean, I don't know about you, but I love doing it. I can't, I can't get enough. I see flowers and shit everywhere. I'm, I gotta pick them. Mercurio, you know what it's like. Let's get up in here. Shit, look, these haven't even respawned yet, and I'm met with a feeling of disappointment. Shit, you know that was that's been one of the like benefits of this survival mode bullshit, is that because we have to rest eight hours like every so often, and we can't fast travel, we take the carriage. Shit is like respawning yes. left and right for us. Okay, let's head on over here. We'll sell some stuff to What's Her Butt as well. And then we'll take a snooze, I think. Let's see, head over to the Ragged Flagon. And we'll lift some garbage off of Mercurio just as well. Let's see, over here. Good. Where is Tanilia? All eyes are on you, lad. There she is. Don't disappoint okay. us. Okay, here Mercurio, give me some of that garbage. Yes? Let's see. I am an apprentice wizard, not a pack mule. Oh. Let's take Elven Dagger, these arrows and stuff. Wonderful, over here. Let's see, we could take some of these armor pieces. Yeah, let's sell off these old ones. We don't need to keep these around. We could even just take all of this shit, right? And just pawn it off, now that we've got this really dope stuff. Yeah, let's do that. We've got the Nordic carved... Or not even that. Yeah, it is Nordic carved, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we got all that stuff. Maybe we'll keep all this shit on him. I'm not sure. Okay, good. We'll keep all of the jewelry and stuff there. Actually, we'll take this circlet, because that's quite heavy. But the other, like, rings and necklaces and stuff, that's worth keeping on. It doesn't weigh too much. And, uh, you know, we can enchant it later. Okay, mammoth cheese bowl. I'm just going to eat it. Look at me go. Okay, anything else here that we should yoink off of them here? Hmm. Let's see, let's get a count on our bear situation. Oh my god, six cave bear pelts. And two snow ones, so we're at eight. So we just need one more, right? Yeah, because I've got one on me. Holy shit. I'm not, I'm not trying to equip it here, game. I'm trying to give it to Mercurio. Alright, fine. Here we are. Oh look, Mercurio. <laughs> 
<laughs> he just looks like a thief. He's a man of mystery, always changing his outfit. Okay, Tanilia, take a look at this. If you're looking for extra work, usual guild rate, let's take a look at them. Okay, cool. What have you got? Expelling Virtuous. Oh, undead up to level yada yada flea. Okay. Not really anything we need. Now, let's get rid of these. Here we are. Cool. Over here at the armor. Let's just sell this shit off. Orcish helmet as well. This enchanted stuff, because, yeah, the 4% magicka regen is like nothing. I think it maybe would have not been worth... It would have been worth it to not enchant them. That way we could continue to upgrade it. So I'm thinking, like, maybe we hold off on the enchants for now. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, shit, look. She's out of money already. That's fine, though. Okay. Let's see. Anything else over here that we should dump off? Yeah, the book that we read. Let's see. Shadow marks, right? Yeah. There it is. Cool. Okay, the marksmanship lesson, I think we read that as well. We can pawn that off. We'll take a hit on it. It's fine. Okay, should be good enough for now. Until next time. Alright, Ancestor's Wrath at the ready. Wild-ass formatting. <laughs> okay, up here, we'll take a snooze. And then we'll head out into the town and sell off the rest of our trash. Right. Alright, here we go. Companions do benefit from bonus carry, right? I am an apprentice wizard. I think so. Not a pack mule. Oh, very well, but make it quick. I was looking up at some point or another all of the different enchants that companions could benefit from. I think carry weight is one of them. Okay, let's see. Take this. Good. Here, take these filled soul gems. I'll just hold on to the empty ones. Good. Okay, and take all these. Love it. I'll hold on to some salt piles in case I want to do going, some then. quick cooking. Okay, good. Now, this doesn't repopulate, does it? Steel arrows? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Let's take a snooze. Let's go for eight hours. 10 a.m. should be perfect for shops being open. Look at that. I can't believe we got here at, like, 2 a.m. on the hour. That's wild. All right. I think we pick either Magicka or Stamina for some extra carry weight. I'm thinking Magicka, though. Let's hit it. There we are. Wonderful. And let's see. We could pick one-handed, I think, again. Get Armsman up. Could be valuable. Could be useful. Blocking is almost there. Almost, but not quite. Ugh. How about heavy armor? We got a few points in heavy armor. But I don't know if it... Yeah, it wasn't enough. Fair enough. Okay, smithing. We could hit this up. It could be a value to get orcish smithing. That way we have... We can start creating shit out of orichalcum. Right? Because it can help us speed up our leveling. It takes points to get points. Something like that. Hmm. An interesting decision we find ourselves at. I think we do it. Right? I think we go for that shit. Let's see. Or we could get Alchemist. That'll get us more money. It's either Alchemist or... Working with Orichalcum. You know what? Let's get the Orichalcum. Right? We could also pick up the other smithing stuff. I'm not sure if we want to, though. See over here on this side. Because you also get advanced armors, which could be valuable. I'm not sure. But I think Orichalcum, for the time being, is a good one. There we go. Good. Because that'll let us get more XP because we're crafting more valuable items and shit. Long gone, long gone are the days of crafting up uh, a million daggers. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Vegetable soup. There it is. And... Rabbit haunch. Good. We don't happen to have any cabbage laying around, do we? Maybe. Let me check in here. Wooden sword. Over here. Nah, I don't think so. They are talking about some wild-ass shit here. <laughs> talking, starting a brothel? What? <laughs> Let's consume that. Good. 
Do these, these like repopulate too at some point, don't they? Or am I tripping balls? I might be tripping balls. Let's see in here. Nah, okay. Let's skedaddle. Good. All right. Let's go check in at the general store or the blacksmith. Yeah, the blacksmith is outside usually. So we can hit him up. No problemo. Good. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's toss a hundred gold over here. Why not? The humble Boom. servant of Palos help you today. Oh, it's fine. I don't need any help. Let's head this away. Good. And look. One of these friends. Oh, shit. It's very elusive. There we go. Great. Okay. Let's head over here. Blacksmith is out. Wonderful. Dope. Balamus. See Balam. Hmm. Blades, helmets, okay. pretty Let's much see. anything Ooh, to look. suit your needs. He's got some new interesting stock as well. A lot of stuff of conjuring. Huh. Oh wow. Neat. Okay. Let's see here. Let's at least sell off this old shit. Boom. Reduce our carry weight a bit. Shit, that's really it, isn't it? Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. What all kind of ingots do you have? Iron, ebony. I'm not even sure what do you need for orichalcum. Hmm. I think you just find orichalcum, right? It's it is what it is. Okay, let's just buy this shit up. There we are. Iron ingots. And let's get uh, shit some leather. There we are. A lot of ebony here. Good God. Okay. There we are. And let's make Remember, use of this shit real quick. Genuine. Get quick uh, level or so, maybe. There we are. Let's sort by value. Oh, look, dwarven bow. Okay. Great. Fix these up. Love it. Cool. Okay, and we'll sell that shit off. What brings you to Balaman today? What have you got hmm. for sale? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, get rid of this shit. Just a quick little skill up time. Good. Okay, Mercurio, Remember, take the left. Genuine fire sauce yes. will do. The forge knows the difference. I am an apprenticed wizard. Okay, Not and a pack then. Meal. Oh, very well, but make it quick. Let's get rid of our excess. Wonderful. Dope. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. And then, I think we're good to go, aren't we? Mercurio, let me check your shit. Trade some I shit. I am an apprenticed wizard, not a pack mule. Oh. Yeah, he's doing good. Quick. Right? Yeah. Looking great. He does have all this corundum because I mistakenly bought it thinking that it was necessary for <laughs> other shit. <laughs> oh, he does have two orichalcum on him. Neat. Good to know. Okay. Thanks for hauling around Indeed, all the trash. Okay. Now let's head on out. We'll hit up that little fun cave. We'll see what we can get up to there. Alright. Oh, look. Flowers. I must take them. Cool. Okay. Over here. We'll just fly our ass on over there. We'll, we'll grab a horse. Right? There isn't like a... A dragon about ready to plunge down on me, right? No, I don't think so. Okay. Fallow Stone Cave. <laughs> There's no fell anything. This ain't no World of Warcraft land. Okay. Let's see. I'm surprised this guy is able to get so many horses, because I, I keep stealing them, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's such a horse shortage. I mean, does he just think that I just bought it or something? Maybe I talked to his associate, he just sees me running off with it? <laughs> Just as long as he doesn't see me get on top of it. <laughs> maybe maybe when I get on top of it, he's like, That man has an unwashed ass! You can't sit on that horse's saddle! Be gone, you foul thief! How dare you stink up my horse with your stench-filled ass! <laughs> Good God. Jeez, the people of Skyrim, huh? <laughs> what a bunch of fucking milk drinkers. <laughs> Good Lord. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, fuck me. Hey, you know what? Maybe these are our pelts, right? Let's fucking go for it. <laughs> this is them. 
right? <laughs> These are how we get the pelts. Foosome! Great. Oh shit, I'm hungry as hell. Okay, let's eat. I need rabbit haunch. I'm satisfied now, but can we go a little bit further? No. Let's be careful. Alright. Oh my gosh. How much damage can this horse tank? Oh fuck, how much damage can I tank? Oh, jeez. Shit, the double bear attack is ruthless. Okay. I think we can handle it, though. Oh my god! Fuck, the game just crashed. Alright, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Gotta do a, a quick cut. Fortunately, I quick saved. <laughs> it's always around this area, too, isn't it? It's always in the rift. This is the second time we've had this. What is the commonality? I don't know. Nonetheless, we will be right back. Alright, we are back. Holy shit. Went and just now picked up another horse, because of course we quick saved right before grabbing it. <laughs> Good god. I am now kind of hesitant to engage these double bears, but we'll see. Assuming they even spawn back in there. No, okay, yeah. There they are again. Oh shit, one's coming over this way. Maybe there's only one this time? I'm not sure. Oh no, wait, there's another one over there. The oh, fuck! Shit! Okay. Let's do some of this. Good. Okay, great. Let's do a quick save again. Fuck, I forgot. I need food. Let's eat that rabbit. Good. Where's the other bear? I'm trying to keep an eye on my peripheral. No soul gem large enough. Okay. Still. Good. That's enough bear pelts, I believe. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some healing going on. Oh, who is this? Oh, God. Is this a vampire? Oh, my God. It's some sexy traveler in the wilderness. I think they're a vampire. Hey, who are you? Sure, you're a vampire fledgling. Where are you doing out? It's daylight. <laughs> this person is busy. Hey, what's your deal? Oh my god, I'm gonna try and pick her pot. Oof. They're busy. Where are they going? <laughs> what is happening? Can I Oof. attack them? No more. I yield. I yield. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, I really did. She was a vampire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you free money. <laughs> Let's take this. All right, sure. <laughs> that was so weird. I don't know why I felt so compelled to kill her, right? I guess because she was unnamed or something, right? <laughs> it just felt like the right thing to do. Like, oh, what the fuck? You're some freaky vampire running off somewhere. I've never seen that before. Is there gonna be like a vampire ambush up ahead? Maybe there was about to be one, but they ran away because it took me so long to get over here and that now it's daylight out. <laughs> Maybe. It's so fucking bizarre. <laughs> what was that about? Jeez. Maybe, maybe old Yarmaz came through here and was like, I'm the dopest dude alive and started slaying vamps left and right. Holy shit. Here to finally reclaim his place as the, I don't know, the dopest dude alive. Of course, what else? <laughs> Let's bring up our map. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, what the fuck were they doing? I've never seen that before. I've seen, like, vamps that you encounter out in the wilderness, but nothing like that. Shit. Okay, this is up. This is it right here? Up on the left? I think so. She didn't even attack us. And she was pretty easy to kill, right? I mean, sure, a fledgling, but... Oh, who the fuck is that? Do you see that? There's some strange man out there. 
he looks partially naked. But then again, most people in Skyrim land do look partially naked all the time. Hey. Oh, he's got some little cute dog. Whoa, he's hunting something. Aw, look at this. Wow, he's really mad at that... Rabbit? Fox? <laughs> I'll rip your heart out! Hey, dude! Can I- <laughs> can I get something off of him? Can I get a little something something here? No, I think his dog is watching me. Oh shit. Not anymore. Oh fuck. Hang on. There we go. Oh no, it's because he's in combat. He's really bad at hitting this fox! <laughs> Dude, you should just run up there and hit it. <laughs> Look at him go. There's probably like a million arrows up here. If I were an archer. Oh, he hit it once in the tail. Okay. There you go. Boom. Enjoy. Ugh. Should I take the pelt? Nah. Probably need to have like two of them or some shit. Okay. Hey, man. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, yeah? Take a look. Okay, what have you got? Oh my gosh. Exactly what you would expect. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I sneak up on him and maybe take something off of him? That he wasn't wanting to sell? Like this? Ooh, like an apple fucking pie! Holy shit! Oh my god, look at that! 19 gold as well. Should I take the pie or the money? Money. And then pie. And then... <laughs> Shit. And then... Lockpick? You uh -oh. could have just asked. Oh, he caught me. He doesn't really give a shit. Okay. Wow, you would have just given it to me? Huh. Did he, like, take back the pie? No, he didn't. <laughs> He's none the wiser. Fair enough. Okay. Let's head on up here. Maybe he's he's happy about it because we helped him catch the fox? I don't know. Alright. Oh, hey, is this what we need right here? Hey! Is this it? The big club? Maybe? Oh shit, there's a lot of blood here. Oh, there he is. Look, he must have killed him. He left a foot behind. Why is there just someone's foot? <laughs> Alright, sure. Oh my gosh. He's been out here, like, farting blood all day. There's a cave here. Think we should check it out? Yeah, whose blood is this? He really was out here just farting blood. There's no fresh body. You can't tell me for real that he, he was fighting giant skeletons and stuff, and they had blood on them. Yeah, okay. I fought some skeletons. I know how it works. They are definitely not bloody. Okay. If there's a chance this will save me, then I'm taking it. Oh my gosh, he's got one, you like, back me up. laser Let's get eye. This over with. And then another, like, pearl eye. Holy shit. Speaking of people with depth perception problems. Alright. In we go. We didn't even talk to him. He just hit us with that ambiance. Hey, Chief. Don't make a mess of this. I'm just here to help. How long has this been going on? Weeks? Longer. Feels like an age has gone by. I haven't slept in so long. Hmm, well, you know what they say, Chief. The age of aggression is just about done. <laughs> I'm just here to help. Oh, of course. Because Malakath would take pity on us if only a useless outsider would lend us a hand. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Fair enough. Until next time. <laughs> it, is, it is wildly presumptive of me. <laughs> okay, but I have a feeling, Chief, that it will work out to play out exactly that way. <laughs> Just a hunch. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Are you sure you can find your way? It would be easy to get lost in here. What are you talking about, Mercurio? This is a humongous open room. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my gosh. An orc here who has fallen next to some giant rib cage. Look at this. This is beautiful. Chief, you want to go swimming in this? Oh my gosh. Let's get naked and, like, frolic around. Holy shit. Wow. Would you look at that? Oh, look, Mercurio's ready to frolic. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. No treasures, though, it seems. Let's see over 
here, maybe? No. Just really cool looking. Oh, look. Oh. I guess it's so huge because, you know, giants hang out in here. Wow, look at them jump! Damn. Okay, me too. Woo! All right. Oh, look. Some little spider hole. All right, down here. Can this guy die? Do I need to, like, be really careful to keep him protected, or is he, like, marked as essential? And he'll just, like, crouch down and be like, Oh, my bleeding ass! Yo, are there any over there? I don't see any, unless they're, like, snoozing it up big time. Oh, shit, there's one. Dude, aren't we supposed to get that guy? Oh, my God. Oh! Bats! Oh, shit. Yo, is he about to assassino this fool? Chief! Oh my god, what are you doing? Chief! Oh god. You're a fucking lunatic, dude. Holy shit. Mercurio is fucking gone. Okay. Look, there's definitely something here that's aggro as hell. What the fuck? What is that noise? It sounds like a giant goblin monster. <laughs> it sounds like a goblin- Ooh! Oh! Boom. Shit, I'm hungry again. Time to eat that apple pie. Okay. Jeez, Mercurio would be pretty good here. Heal up a bit. Get him, Chief. You can do it. Shit, is he not gonna do it? <laughs> he might not. Okay. Let's spawn Francine in a little bit closer. So the PBAOE works. There it is. Okay. Good. It's looking good. We're getting skill ups at least. There we are. Real fight. Okay. Good. Oh my gosh. Jeez, I don't know if you heard that. I think something fell over in the other room. <laughs> okay, let's heal this on up. Get him, Chief! Get him! Smack him and thwack him! There it is. Good. All right, we're we're making progress here. Can't hardly see it. It's become one with the tree. What's his health at? I'm assuming it's fine. I can't see his health. Maybe he's unkillable. Can I get another friend out here? Yes, I can. Good. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Must have run off. No, we we killed a chief. That's what happens. It's been so long since he's slain something, he doesn't understand how it works. <laughs> he thinks that it, it runs off when he does that. No, we killed it. <laughs> we killed it, Chief Yarmaz. Let's do a quick save here. Gosh, Mercurio has truly fucked off. Oh my god. What the fuck? Chief, don't you want this loot? Look, this is like the giant Super Treasure Trove 500. What have you even got? Oh my god. Whoa. Holy shit. Orcish armor of eminent conjuring. Yo, that is pretty good. Okay. Man, we can't take any of it though. Where the fuck is Mercurio at? Good lord, he came in here with us, but he's gone now. Fuck. Hang on, Chief. Will you be okay if I run back and check on Mercurio? <laughs> good god. Mercurio, you better not be back here fighting like a million different giants or some shit. Good god. Okay, let's just walk by this dude. Does he mind? He seems to mind. Oh, he seems to really mind. Okay, that's fine. Stow away our weapon. I think we go a little bit faster. I don't fucking know. Now there was another one out here, right? Walking in the distance or some shit. 
Mercurio, where the fuck have you gone, dude? Jesus, Mercurio is so keen on just fucking off in a major way. It sucks a butt. Okay. Up here. Let's see. Let's climb up this. There we are. Good. And... Mercurio, are you up here? <laughs> Fuck, how do you even get back up? I don't think you can. Oh, look, I can hear him. Or listen, I can hear him. There he is. It's Mercurio. <laughs> Come on, Mercurio. You gotta jump. You gotta jump, dude. Here, can I, like, run him in there? Run in there, Mercurio. Hey, watch it. Mercurio, I'm trying to... Watch it. Nope, doesn't work. Will he jump? You gotta jump, Mercurio. You got... <laughs> oh, no. Mercurio's a fucking fool. Oh, look. He's kind of making it. Come down here, Mercurio. Come on down. There you go. You got it. <laughs> what happened to your magic? Did he forget magic? Oh, no. <laughs> he forgot how to jump, and he forgot magic. It's never good. <laughs> Especially when you're a wizard. Okay. Maybe he'll he'll be fine just fist fighting giants. I'm sure that'll work out just fine. <laughs> okay. Over here. Good, look, he can make it now. Wonderful. Now let's continue in through this. Alright, yep, bats. There's just like an endless supply of bats here. I don't know where they come from. The giants probably make them. Stealth mode activate, Mercurio. We don't want to fuck with this big dude. Look, we're gonna sneak around. Do some slunking by this body part. You better not go up there, Mercurio. You better not go up to that man. Mercurio, you better not be going up to him. He's grunting at me. Come on, Mercurio. Come on. All right. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Here we are. Excellent. At times like this. I truly appreciate the joys of a warm fire and a stiff drink. Oh shit. I'm like getting hurt by bone. Okay, cave bear. What have you got? You got some shit? Yeah, you got some shit. Good. And let's also claim all this. Claim our prize here. Wonderful. And we'll ditch this Divine onto smiling. Mercurio. I am an apprenticed wizard, not a pack mule. Oh, there we go. Well, but make it quick. And take this vamp shit as well. I don't want anything of that nature. There we go. Good. Lead oh, on. look. He equipped it. It's a look. Look at that. It's a look. Okay. The the hood kind of goes with everything, doesn't it? Okay, let's do a quick save here just as well. Oh, look. There is a dead orc here with a lockpick. Has he done this before? How do you know where to go, Chief? Giant's Grove. Oh my god, this is where the giants grow. <laughs> we'll come here and there's just a bunch of, like, Really small giants. Because <laughs> they're still growing. <laughs> hey, Chief. Do we need to talk? Don't make a mess of this. Oh, okay. Okay. We're good. I'm here for backup. Let's see. Anything in this? No. No rings. So much blood. What is this? Are we, like, tracking something? Okay. Oh. All right. I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. What do you mean? No, you're supposed to do it. What do you mean? I'm tired. I haven't slept well in weeks. You kill the giant. Bring me the hammer. We go back to Lagerspur. I tell everyone I did it. You keep your mouth shut, and I pay you. Handsomely. No, you're supposed to do it. You're going to curse everyone. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second. Wait a minute. Is he about to fucking... <laughs> Mercurio, get ready. This might be good. <laughs> Never should have come here. Look at him go. Don't like the looks of this. Oh. Jeez. Hey, I mean, it is just one. Look, the giant's kind of scared of him. Huh. He's doing all right. Oh shit, look at that fucking bloody ass chested statue. Yo, look, the giant is totally afraid of him. Look at him go. Okay. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, this is like the easiest giant I've ever seen. Get him, Chief! You can do it! <laughs> I guess it's safe for me to just walk up here. <laughs> yeah, you can do it, Chief! You got him! Look at him go! Wow, he's really just knocking the shit out of his knees. Dude, this giant is really dumb. Oh my god, well done. He's gonna kill it for real. Uh-oh. Oh, it's finally fighting back. No way! What? Oh my god, fuck me! <laughs> well, this giant just one-shots everything. Okay. <laughs> it was a good thing that it had stopped. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll do it, fine. Fine, I'll do it so you don't fucking die. Don't make a mess of this. Okay. Until next time. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm ready. Well, no, because I don't fucking know. How are we supposed to do it? <laughs> There's no way he can take it by himself, and if I do it, then he... <laughs> you know what? If he dies in glorious all battle, right. so be it. I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. No, you're supposed to do it. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second. Jeez. Old Yarmaz, he's playing on survival oh. mode just as well, isn't he? <laughs> Time to end this little game. Don't like the looks. Alright. Oh. There you go, friend. Get him. Oh shit, Mercurio is helping out. <laughs> Jeez, look at what Mercurio's done to it. He's like activated slow-mo on it. Holy shit, Mercurio, how have you done this? He really is like some kind of time wizard. I guess this is okay. Mercurio doesn't count as a human, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna stand by this enormous bonfire that does nothing for me. Okay. Fucking get him, Mercurio. You're doing great. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I think it's supposed to kill him no matter what, right? At least it looks that way. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> this is a little precarious. Oh god. You better get moving, Mercurio. Poof! Fucking dude is coming around. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Look, I, I got a lot of magicka here. I can just keep summoning them. Summoning them. Summon them, 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 them. Oh fuck. Okay. Let's drink some potions. Let's see here. Let's get that. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, sugar! Foof! Fuck, they are immune to being foosed. Oh shit, Mercurio's fucking dead. <laughs> okay, let's equip our fr frost breath here. There we are. Get him, Mercurio. Get him, Francine. Fuck him up. We've got a quick save here, it seems safe. Can I stun him? Oh my god, I can. My shield bash is powerful as hell. Oh, fuck! Oh. Jeez, he did not <laughs> give a shit for that last one. Okay, okay, we should be fine, though. Yeah, because they're engaged with Mercurio. Okay. Freeze him. You know what may be effective? Fucking, uh... Oh, fuck. Okay, let's get the fuck away. Uh-oh. Jeez! Fuck! Oh, my God. There we go. He's after Francine. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Get him, Francine! Look, another dead orc here. I can use this. Let's see. Reanimate corpse. Awesome. Okay. Oh, look, going back after Mercurio. That's fine by me. Oh! Here we are. Gotta shoot some of that shit off. Oh my god, there goes Mercurio! <laughs> wow, he's fucked up for the rest of his life. He'll never be back again. <laughs> what will happen to him? <laughs> I didn't think it could happen to other people. <laughs> I thought, oh my god, it's gonna happen to me. Uh-oh. Francine? 
<laughs> it's so much funnier when it happens to someone else. <laughs> Mercurio, are you back? <laughs> we'll kill the giant and then, <laughs> then he'll come plummeting back to the planet. <laughs> He's on Mesa in Secunda right now. <laughs> the first wizard astronaut. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> he's, he's found Magnus in the sky. <laughs> let's, let's do a quick save, I guess. What will happen? No way, he came back. Oh my god. <laughs> Mercurio's come back. Oh dear god, but Mercurio, when he was in space, so much time passed for him. Yes, the theory of relativity has taken effect. Mercurio is like 500 years old. <laughs> Meanwhile, it seems as if only a few seconds have passed for us. <laughs> Fuck me. Look at this. Oh, shit. Oof. I thought I was about to get executed. I accidentally hit the, the scroll wheel in all of the excitement. Hey, look at this thing. Boom! What happened? Is it... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yamaras oh. was a fool. Always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. <sighs> well, Great. the giants took care of him. And you took care of the giants. Two problems solved at once. Now, take Shagro's hammer back to Largishburg, and we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. Jeez, Malakath is a lot more cruel toward the orcs this time around, right? <laughs> In Oblivion, you literally get sent on, like, a quest to liberate some essentially like indentured orcs right in uh, in oblivion it's, it's a bit more fucked up this time around huh i guess that's the case for everything in this huh oh, look chagrol's warhammer i guess i'll take it here we are cool oh it doesn't weigh anything amazing okay cool 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 jesus christ <laughs> Mercurio, how are you now that you've been in fucking space? <laughs> it was so fucking funny to see him, like, <laughs> do a fucking Team Rocket maneuver. <laughs> Good God. I had no idea it could work on anyone else, because we've seen giants kill other people in, like, bears and shit, and they didn't go flying, right? Oh, no, he totally... Yeah, I have seen. A long time ago when it first came out, I remember. I think it was, um... In, a. Uh, Giant Bomb's quick look of this. I think it happened. It happened to like a a bear or some shit. Fuck! Oh my god, that's so good. What a great fuck oh god, that is disgusting. <laughs> okay. Let's poke through this. Peek and poke. Robes of destruction. Just some some decent junk. Okay. Who is this? A bandit. Got some gold. Look at you, Malakath, all, like, covered in blood. Jeez. Alright. I mean, I guess it checks out that, you know, there'd be some blood farts around here. Given Malakath's whole, like, shitlord vibe. Whew. Okay. Let's quick save here. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe that. So I guess, does he die no matter what? Is there a way to, like, save him? It seems like he's meant to die. Oh look, or Calcum. Yo, speaking of. Holy shit. Is there just a whole lot out here? Hmm, maybe we should call it here a little bit early. That way in between I can just mine all this shit up and we'll be ready to go. Right? Yeah, I think there's just ass loads of it out here. Oh my god, yeah, there is so much. Is Malakath like in some way responsible for the existence of Or Calcum? Maybe. Fuck, I don't know shit. Okay. Sure. <laughs> great. Okay. Well, you know what? That sounds great to me. When next we come back, I'll have mined up all of this orichalcum and checked all these bodies and grabbed this, like, mammoth cheese and just, like, stuffed my face full of it. I'll also have to find the chief's body and probably, like, lift all of his, his, uh, fucking orcish armor and stuff. Good lord. Too bad we already found this dope set of carved Nordic armor. Honestly, it's, like, one of my favorite sets in the game. Even though, like... Nah, yeah, it, it's just up there. Yeah, it's just a really dope-looking set of armor, I think. Right? Fucking Dragonborn added a lot of 
really good looking armor in my opinion. Anyway, like I said, when Don't next we come back, ahead. we'll check all that stuff out. And for now, if you'd like to hang around, we will be doing, of course, a little bit of reading. What should we read this time, though? Well, who the hell fucking knows? How about... Ooh, let me check my list here. Oops. Let's see. Ah, uh, how about troll slang? We just slew a troll. Why don't we l <laughs> look at him? <laughs> yeah, why don't we learn about it? Troll slang by Finn. Hello, fellow traveler, and welcome to this guide. Within these pages, I will explain everything you need to know about fighting trolls, including how to negate their amazing healing powers and how best to take advantage of their natural love of cold. I did not know they loved that. Hmm. I'll even share with you my tried and true secret for killing trolls. Intrigued? I hope so. Troll fat is a valuable commodity, and there's fortune and glory to be made for the ambitious hu troll hunter. Onward, then. Ah. <laughs> Some sort of Guillermo del Toro connection here. Chapter 1. I just saw a troll! <laughs> if you think you've seen a troll, remain calm and slowly back away. The wise hunter knows that preparation is the key to success, and you certainly don't want to hunt any trolls unprepared. Ah, uh, but is it really a troll that you've spotted? <laughs> the first step in your hunt is the proper identification of your quarry. Trolls are roughly man-shaped, with lengthy, muscular arms that end in claw-tipped fingers. The creature's large mouth is filled with jagged teeth, all the better to crunch the bones of foolish hunters who didn't purchase my book. Without a doubt, the troll's most distinctive and unusual feature is the third eye nestled in the center of its forehead. A troll's hide is covered in thick, shaggy fur. The coloration of this fur varies by region. Cave troll fur is brownish in color, while a frost or snow troll will have a white coat. Chapter 2 Stop healing yourself! So, you've properly identified a troll, and now you're ready, and now you're stalking the beast, ready to strike. You're in for a challenging battle, but a profitable one, assuming you survive. This sounds like it's ripped straight, straight from, like, Fallout. <laughs> Fucking vault Tech wrote this shit. The first thing you'll notice is that trolls are incredibly fast and strong for their size. A troll likes to pummel its prey into submission with powerful attacks, with powerful arm strikes and claw attacks. For this reason, I strongly recommend a shield. If you're brave enough or foolish enough to fight a troll without using a shield, then you'd better be an expert at parrying with whatever weapon you've got. Trolls also have the ability to rapidly heal from their wounds. As such, you do not want to get into a prolonged fight with one. Speed and aggression are the key to beating a troll, because there is no creature in Tamriel that can outlast one. Of course, speed and aggression will only take you so far against an angry troll. This is where my secret weapon comes in. Chapter 3 Finn's Secret Weapon Fire, my friend. Say the word and commit it to memory, for fire is the troll hunter's ultimate weapon. I cannot overstate the importance of fire in battling a troll. Even trolls that don't dwell in cold climates are vulnerable to fire. If you're unable to use fire magic, carry a weapon enchanted with arcane flames. Why is the troll vulnerable to fire? Rumor holds that the troll's regenerative abilities are less effective at healing burns. I don't really know the answer, but I can promise you this. Fire works against trolls. This has been proven time and time again. Well, what a secret. <laughs> Chapter 4. Trimming the Fat The troll might be dead, but your job isn't finished just yet. Let the flames die down and then examine the troll's corpse. If you're lucky, you'll find some fat deposits that will fetch a good price in an apothecary's shop. In fact, if you've got a knack for alchemy yourself, 
You can boil the fat down for use in all manner of potions and tonics. If you can find it, be sure to check the troll's den as well. Perhaps you'll find the remains of some foolish adventurer who was too cheap-minded to purchase this book. <laughs> no doubt, you can put his coin to wiser use. Now, like buying a second copy of this book, now you know everything that you need to make a living as a wealthy and reputable troll hunter. Go on then, get out there and find yourself some trolls. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Wow, thanks so much, Finn, whatever your name is. Good Lord, you can't really flip through that quick, can you? <laughs> Finn. Oh, your name is just Finn. Great, cool. <laughs> Gosh, man, what if I find a troll in a swamp? Oh, what do I do then? I just need to use fire. What if I find a troll inside of a painting? Oh, no, I'm really fucked then. <laughs> Good God. All right, yeah, when next we come back, we'll probably also check out the rest of- Oh my god. Wow! That giant shoved this fucking stick right through that dude's ass and threw out of his penis hole. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! This is how they eat them? Jesus, hopefully he was dead when they did it. <laughs> wow! What's on you? Bone meal. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> All right. Good. <laughs> yeah, we'll also explore the rest of the dungeon as well, right? In addition to clearing out uh, all of the stuff out here, there's, you know, of course, the entirety of everything else where all of the, the giants were. Thank goodness these fires offer some shielding from the cold, right? All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.